Hey guys, how are you? Hey, oh my goodness, that lighting is so much better. Let me see what happened. Goodness, it's Tuesday. Let's wait and see who comes and grabs a seat. Yeah. Listen, while we're waiting for you guys to get in your seat, say hello when you guys get in. Hope you've had a great, a great day. We've been traveling. We're here in Maryland at my daughter's home. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Kayla, hey, how are you? Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. I'm so used to doing coffee with Kathy. Good evening, I should say. Not afternoon. Good evening. How are you guys? Hope you've had a great Tuesday. Some of you are probably off for tomorrow, aren't you? I know everybody should be off for Friday. Rhonda, Julie, good evening. Good evening to you guys. While we're ready, I want to ask you guys a question. So most of you will probably have be making stuffing for your Thanksgiving. How many of you call it stuffing and how many of you call it dressing? Because it's I think it's I think it's a a regional thing. I think it's a regional thing. We always call it what my daughter's here. What do we used to call it, Valerie? Stuffing. I stuffing, thought. yeah. So but some people call it dressing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Amanda calls it dressing. Oh, thanks, Sandra. Yeah. Oh, good. Julie works in retail. Oh, my gosh, Julie. You get Friday off. Oh, I can't even imagine. Okay, Julie calls it stuffing. Amanda and Jennifer call it dressing. That's interesting. And we all make it the same way, right? We all make it with the bread and the celery and all that, all that good stuff. Some people use cornbread. I don't know if that could make a difference or not. Sandra says dressing. <clears throat> yeah. Isn't that interesting? I was just thinking about that today, actually, as I was doing some some shopping, some grocery shopping, wondering what the differences were. And I don't think it's recipe-wise. I think it's just what we say. Hey, April, how are you? Cam, 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 nice to have you join us. I haven't seen you forever. Tell your mom I said hello. Tell your girlfriend I said hello. Hey, Jocelyn and Heather and Becky. Becky says stuffing. Jocelyn says stuffing. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we were just asking what you call what you put in the bird, whether you call it dressing or stuffing. Because, again, I really think it has to do with where we live. I don't think it's the ingredients whatsoever. Hey, Robin, how are you? Nice to have you join. Lisa, hey, girl. Joy. We've had a lot of chat with Joy, a lot of time to get to know her. Yep. Okay, so Amanda said she's from seafood country. Oyster dressing, I know. Oyster dressing, I've seen people with sausage. There's just a lot of different ingredients, but it all starts with the bread, right? It all starts with the bread. Hey, hey, Luana, how are you? Okay, I'm going to get started, and I'm going to ask you guys a question, another question. How many of you have ever heard the commercial for... Um, Oh my gosh, I am now going to draw a blank. It's a hair color, Madison Reed. How many of you have ever heard the commercial on the radio for Madison Reed hair color? And if you haven't, the next time you get a chance to, if you happen to hear it on the radio, now, yes, this is part of the training, but if you happen to hear it on the radio, what I want you guys to do is listen to how she talks and the adjective she uses. Because she uses words that I think when we're going out to advertise a special or a product that we love, that we want to focus on, I think it's important that we don't simply say you'll love it, um, this is the price, you're going to absolutely you know, want to grab a couple of them. I think it's important that we add value by actually telling a story. In fact, I think really... We're really paid storytellers. I mean, that's what we are. We're paid storytellers. So I want you guys to really get into the habit of looking at the way commercials are done, whether it's Facebook or infomercials, 
But when I heard Madison read, she talked about multidimensional. She talked about saving money. She talked about saving time. Um, she, maybe she said cost effective. She just, the adjective she, she used made me want to go, and I don't even, I, don't, I have somebody professional do my hair, but it wanted me to go and look up her hair color to see what was so different because of all the things that she described about her hair color. So I want, again, what I want you guys to do is go back over some of your posts that you've done for Black Friday and maybe even month before that and take a look at how you're describing the product. Is it going to um, be a skin brightener? Is it going to have them help them, you know, see a diminish in their fine lines or their age spots? I mean, Heidi does a great job in the catalog doing some descriptions like that. However, I think we can take it one step further when we start to personalize it and talk about the way it is applied to our life or a friend or family, a close friend or family. So I want you guys to start thinking like that because I really do believe that's what's going to get individuals not only interested in trying something, but allowing you to bring that product to their home, either offer them a one-on-one -on -one or a one-on-three. You know how I feel about one-on-ones. I absolutely think we should offer them. However, I think we should also give permission for that one to be able to include a couple of her friends if she wants to. Remember, if you if you don't ask, it's always a no. And there have been so many times when I've said, listen, I have a couple more samples. Do you want to grab a couple more friends? They're like, oh, can I? So that tells me that she would have never done it if I hadn't encouraged her to. So again, when you go to make descriptions and you start to think about, you're very intentional about what you're describing with your products that you're using, or a product maybe that Heidi has introduced as a special product, like the gingerbread, that little gingerbread. I mean, describe how that gingerbread will, you know, take them back to the days of when they made gingerbread cookies with their parents. You know, how many of you remember those kind of memories? And now fast forward, and we have those that that's you know that scent tucked in a jar for you to use as stocking stuffers, and it is a gift with purchase because you guys can purchase them for three dollars. So again, these are kind of things, and I'm not saying you have to give it away, but I'm just kind of describing what are some of the adjectives and the, some of the hooks, if you will, that get you to to have people interested in being your follower, but also being wanting to ask questions because the more questions they ask the more opportunity you have to open that relationship up and say, gosh, I'd be, I'd love to come over and bring some of my products. Do you want to pick a date and grab a few of your friends? Now, that's a booking, but it didn't sound like a booking, didn't it? did it? And that's because, again, you've attracted interest because of your word choices, because of your storytelling. So I want to make sure you guys really have that, that um, you know, that skill set every time you get ready to post something on Facebook or you get ready to reply to a message, I want you to step back and think about some of the word choices you could use that would be a little more contagious for someone to be able to want to, to try something that you have. I mean, again, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you hear that Madison Reed commercial because she's she's amazing. I mean, that that lady is amazing. And then what she did, for those of you that have kids, she brought her daughter in. And I don't know how old her daughter is. I'm like maybe 14 or something. But she brought her daughter in, and her daughter is saying, you know, about, you know, hair color, et cetera. So, again, I just, there's so many things that this lady does that we could duplicate with our, with our business as far as listening to the cues and the different types of word choices that, that she uses. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. All right. So, the other thing I want to do is just encourage you guys at this time of year, you might be really busy, and you might say to yourself, I have nothing, no other spot on my plate for anything else and that's true for a lot of people but it's not true for everybody so I want to make sure you guys are very consistent that when you are starting a conversation and the conversation you know gets to where somebody is saying you know that I need to stop or you know I'm not really able to buy any more you know this is this is my limit etc you say gosh have you ever thought about doing direct sales you know I'd love to chat with you a little bit about joining Lemongrass Spa you could try it for 30 days. You could make some money. You could earn the you earn the kit. You could share the product with your friends. You know, that's what direct sales is all about. And I want you guys to get comfortable with that kind of conversation, but I want you to hear what I said. 
could you you're looking you're hearing you're listening for cues that somebody needs money so you are actually giving them the opportunity the job description if you will that they might be able to they may be interested in earning a paycheck and trying it for 30 days which means in order to give them that gift in order for your word to be your bond in order for you to follow through with that commitment you need to make sure that you are sitting down with them with your leader with me and saying this is what the 30 days really consists of because guys I have seen new consultants come into this business since I've been here and I've seen them do four parties two samplings two girlfriends they float over they do a Facebook party or two they do a couple catalog parties they end up with six or seven hundred dollars now does every single one of them stay I have no idea but the most important thing is my word was my bond I didn't didn't simply scoop up customer and say oh my gosh I love you as a customer why don't you go ahead and order the kit and get the 25% discount that's not the gift I was giving them I was giving them the gift of a paycheck so I really want to encourage you guys as you are being intentional about being thankful about giving things at this time of the season that that's a gift that you can give but you've got to be very intentional about it by listening put your listening ears on and then just be watching you know habits that you see you know different things that you see around you that you step out of your comfort zone and you give that opportunity it's an invitation they can say no no doesn't define us no means that we have stepped out of our comfort zone and we've gone through we've gone for the no right because you never know who you'll get that yes from and that is it's a life-changing it's a life-changing opportunity and we all know that because we're here right all right um yeah, and I know, and I know I, need, I don't need to beat this dead horse, but January, everybody changes their life. I mean, it's just what happens. Healthy, healthy ways to, to do some life changes, and that's where our, our you know, our events are going to be so popular. And if you notice in this group, in the, in the um, event that I set up for tonight, I posted a couple of things, and I was very intentional what I posted because I wanted you guys to notice that my, the trend there, the conversation I was having was to get them to, think about having something after the first of the year. So the interest was about the theme, or it was about the product, or it was about the opportunity, but was actually bridging. I was building a bridge between what the conversation I was having by posting that information to where I was wanting to take them, which is in the new year, get them on my calendar and let them experience a healthy choice of product choices, um, a lifestyle of you know, earning more money and eliminating holiday debt. You know, I was thinking today as I was driving down the road and, you know, we were on a, a side road and, you know, a little a little two lane road. And I was kind of looking at the houses and, you know, when you pass through neighborhoods, um, you can almost determine or dictate to a certain extent the type of, of financial you know, gain or the financial situation somebody is in based on the type of house they live in. Same with your car, same with the clothes, things like that. However, children that are part of families that have income as well as that don't have income, they are not, they're not able to understand the difference. So think about, you know, when, when we see commercials on TV for teenagers and for small children for Christmas, they're always thinking, oh, that's what I want, Ma, that's what I want. And of course, the, the commercials, the, the people that are making the commercials on TV, they don't say, this is an area of the country or maybe even of a, a city that they don't have a lot of money. It's a little more lower income, so we're only going to do these commercials here that really matches the income. You know, they're not, they're not going to do that, you know, for a variety of reasons. So everybody gets the same commercial for the same presents, the gifts, and things like that. So that's why this is the most stressful time of the year for, for a lot of families because the parents, the parents want to give their kids the same thing that every other child gets, right, or has the opportunity to. And again, I'm just going back to saying to you guys, we have the opportunity to get that stress off their plate and help them have a different lifestyle. We do have that. We've given it every single day. Direct sales has given it for years, um, as long as they've been around, and that's really what's the most attractive about direct sales. They can do as little as they, or as much as they want, but they control the paycheck. They control the in their time with their family, away from their family. There's no other way to do that except with direct sales. So I really want to encourage you guys, offer the paycheck, offer the 30 days, offer the four parties, 
again, they don't have to do it, but if they do it, when they do it, you have an incredible opportunity to know that you've changed their life. And that's why I'm really so, so much of a advocate for direct sales. I've been in for what, 24 years now. Um, and I just think we're really, you're really in a, in a place in today, you know, probably forever, but especially in today's world where there's just so many things that are, you know, pulling us in so many directions financially, it would be really great to have a little bit of a relief, you know, and to be able to give that relief to other people. So anyway, um, all right, now down to the other part of the training. You know, when you guys are thinking about gift giving yourself personally, I want to make sure you you are very purposely and intentionally giving the Lemongrass Spa gifts. It's a tax write-off for you guys. Um, with every gift, you want to make sure that every gift is labeled with your information. You want to make sure you tuck in that gift, the host and join brochure, because there's nothing probably better for someone to get is a, a product like our product line where they get to have this little mini catalog and they start to look through all the different products that we offer, not necessarily that they need, but now they're opening up you're opening them up to the world of Lemongrass Spa. And then, uh, lo and behold, here's a $5 gift certificate off your next order. I mean, think about it. That is that is such an easy and no-cost way for you guys to get yourself from, you know, the person that's getting the gift for, to be able to circle back. I mean, I'd love to be able to say, gosh, every time you get a gift certificate out, you know, or somebody says this is a gift for my mom, wouldn't it be nice to say, can I follow up with her? But there's a lot of people out there that are not going to let you get to her mom. However, if her mom in that gift were to get your information and were to have that gift certificate and were to give you a call because she's running low, I mean, again, if we could call because and ask if they're running low or how they love the product, then of course we're going to do it. That's first and foremost. But there are going to be a lot of instances we can't do that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a way to give them an active choice, a, a, a reason, and a, a vehicle, if you will, a way to circle back to you. So it has to be that every product has your information, every product, and then that little host and join brochure, the mini catalog, and a $5 gift coupon. Um, now you can do the gift certificates off the back office, or you can just simply make yourself gift certificate off your one, write a little love note on it, and just, you know, say, or a little tuck a card in where the card says, you know, thank you, I know you're going to you're gonna love this, you know, thank you for, um, you know, for the opportunity to meet you. Now, again, meet is through the card, but that's okay. And then you just say, you know, here's $5 off your next order. Here's my information. I'd love to hear from you. See how much you love that sample or that gift or whatever. So, again, be very intentional about what you do, especially when you know that it's a gift and it's going to someone else. If you send a thank you note, always put a $5 gift certificate in that thank you note. Write a love note and just thank them and say, you know, I know you're going to love everything. I hope to hear from you soon. Here's five dollars off your next order. You know, I you know type of thing. So you guys know we've said a lot of things about those gift certificates, but I think it's really important. Gift tags. When you send a gift to someone, tag one of our little samples with a little organza bag. Put them as a gift tag on the gift tags. I mean, there's so many ways that we can decorate and get our name attached to something now with the holidays and even with birthdays and the anniversary and stuff like that. But especially at this time of year, get into the habit of it because I think once you start doing it, you will always do it. Um, and again, I think, you know, somebody said, um, you know, making sure that you help them think about the people they're purchasing. And that, again, is where when you set a Black Friday post, you want to make sure you say, this might be ideal for, and then you give a range of people they're going to be buying for that that gift would be perfect for. And I don't mean general, like men and women and things like that. Go deeper. Go into intentional babysitter. You know, I call them nail magicians, um, your hairdressers. Um, you know, again, you, you know, housekeepers, um, you know, bus drivers. I mean, there are so many people out there that when you start helping that customer think about by posting or by doing a Facebook Live, you know that it's going to it's gonna jog their memories like, oh, my gosh, I need that. You know, I'm buying for that person. Now, again, every time somebody buys from you, that's an open door for you to say, you know what, I'll circle back and see, you know, check with you to see how she loved it. Now again, it doesn't mean that she's gonna be able to give you a report, but as you're talking to her, or you make contact with her because you said, I will, then you could opportunity to say, we have a new catalog coming out, we have a new special this month, oh my gosh, I've got a new favorite. 
you know, would you like me to send it to you, see if it's one of your favorites too, because again, these are either existing customers that you've been spending time with you already, or they're new customers that you want them to be spending time with you. And this is how you make yourself and you set yourself apart from every other direct sales company's consultants, is you make those little baby steps that just surprise people. I mean, you know, somebody said, um, it's, you know, customer service, you know, do you give good customer service? No, I want to give excellent customer service. I don't want the word good customer service to be there. I want it to be excellent customer service because that means you have to do something above and beyond what everybody else is doing. Okay, so just going to run through some of the things that you guys want to be thinking about when you're in front of a customer or you're over the phone. And by the way, one of the things I love about the Good Friday, oh, Good Friday, listen, the Black Friday is you have, if you're doing pre-orders, you, they have to call you. Hello, I love that because I love the fact that you have to talk to them and you have to say, by the way, before I place your order, I'll follow back up with you to see if there's anything else you might need to add. Your shipping will stay the same. I don't care if you offer free shipping, I mean not free, flat shipping or whatever, don't bump that shipping up if you call them back because that's the way that they know that they can add some more things and they probably will if they know that it's not going to increase their shipping. So even if you you know, you've got a cap at six ninety five. the company shipping, leave it there. Even if you add a couple more orders, go ahead and pick up the difference because that gives you an opportunity to get them thinking, well, the shipping's going to be the same. I'm not going to be charging additional shipping. I will think about some other things. If you don't say that, most people know it's an escalating shipping scale, so they know they're going to pay a little bit more unless, again, you call, you've placed, you've done flat, flat rate shipping. Um, the other thing is I had some... I, when I was at my regional training in Denver, I went and did a full service check-in. And I said, I want you guys to watch what I do. So what I want you guys to do, as I showed him how to, how to do this live, is when somebody's placed an order, instead of saying, um, okay, anything else? Because that's a yes or no question. In fact, it's a no answer. They're going to say, no, I think I'm done. You can say, okay, what's next? Always say, okay, what's next? Because you're going to hear them pause, and this is where you're going to get a booking. You're going to hear them pause, and they're going to say, you know what? I think I better stop and say, well, you know what, why don't we do this? I've got some dates left in January. I'm having a white sale. Now, again, I know I haven't introduced white sale to you, but I'm just saying, just make it sound fun. Or I'm doing 30-minute summer facials, or we're doing hand spas to get everybody, you know, to be a little more comfortable out of their gloves, whatever you want to call it. Be ready for that commercial because you want to say, why don't we do this? Leave the rest of your items behind. We'll go ahead and we'll do a... a a, par, a hand spa or whatever with your friends just grab a few friends and get the rest of those things with a, with your discount as a host oh my gosh you'll get cash you get half the price items why don't we do that your friends gonna be so excited about meeting with you after the holidays when they're finished having to do with their family so be ready for that because as you say okay what's next you're gonna hear the pause now the other thing is be ready because somebody might say oh my gosh my husband just lost his job or he's trying to find a new job and then you say listen I know this conversation didn't start out like this, but I just, I'm going to ask you, because I've been in direct sales for a while now, and it's working wonderfully, beautifully for me and my family. I do it very part-time, but I make about two to $300 or whatever you make. If you don't make $400 a month, build it up and say, you know, a lot of my, my friends make about four to $500 a month. I would love to take a close, have you take a closer look. Would you, would you have a few minutes of chat and then stop talking? Because again, if somebody says something about their finances, we come to the rescue. We don't say, oh, that's a shame, that's too bad, no. Now again, if you're offering that paycheck, you cannot say, oh my gosh, and you only have to do $25 stay active. Listen, in the back of their mind, they just heard, oh, that's in case I can't do it. She does not think I can do it. You stay true to the paycheck, you stay true to the four parties, you link arms with her and you help her love direct sales because she will. She'll love the products, we know. She'll love direct sales. So give her that opportunity. It's a thought. It's something she'll think about, right? So again, be thinking about that when you go to place an order. Um, the other thing is, is when you're taking the order, ask her, is there anyone else that you think might enjoy this product? If you don't ask, she's not going to think about it. So think multiples. People buy the healing elements. My, and I say to them, listen, is there anyone else that might you think might want this healing elements? We have two of different sizes. So if it's a $21 one, I know they're probably not going to buy a $21 one for a school teacher. They may, but so I just say, you know, have a school teacher, you know, her hands are, are, you know, always in, you know, washing your hairdresser, et cetera. So always when you know there's a product that she's purchasing, always jump her over to getting that, crossing that somebody off her list. 
again, it's always no unless you ask. Um, and the other thing is, is I always, I always cross sell or upsell. And the way I do that is when somebody buys the BB cream, oh my gosh, I would never sell a BB cream without a brush. I'm sorry. I know you guys, a lot of you use your fingers. I don't. I don't like my fingers touching my face like that. I just think the brush does a greater, a more beautiful job with an airbrush look. I think it does a better job blending. Um, it, it becomes more buildable. I can layer better. I mean, now, did you see all the adjectives I used by, by describing the brush? And that's why I sell a brush with every BB cream. Now, they didn't come in with a BB cream, and I don't ask them, or with needing a brush, and I don't ask them if they have a brush. I just say, okay, now let's go over and make sure we get you the right brush for your BB cream. That's the way that you are solution-based selling, guys. And I'm not even going to talk about you feeling like you're pushy. It's what we do. It would be me, like me buying a, a set of a, a necklace and somebody say, no, do you have earrings to match? Oh, my gosh. I don't. I love when people do that to me. I love it. So that's what you want to make sure you do to your customers, for your customers, not to your customers, for your customers. They, they Listen, we're consultants because they consult with us and we consult back and forth with them. So it's that ping pong ball. They you ask a question, they answer. You take that question, you ask another question on top of that question, etc. That's the relationship you're building while you're talking to them. That's why if somebody messages you or emails you and says, you know, I'm running low on this, just say, oh my gosh, do you have a minute? Something exciting is happening. I'll take your order, but I also want to tell you something else. What's exciting? I got in January. I'm doing, and you offer a special for January that you're doing something special in January. Have your theme your excitement of what you're offering in January, have it ready. Be ready for that January calendar. Um, now, the other thing is you have favorites. I know you have favorites. Your favorites are not my favorites, but the reason they're not my favorites is because you haven't convinced me that I should try them. So make sure when you're talking to a customer, you say, listen, I have a favorite, and it's along the same line. I think you might like it. Would you like to try it this time? You're always giving a, you're buying this. I think you might like this. It's like, do you sell the body scrub without an icing? Tell me no. Kathy, I would never sell a body scrub without an icing. Because then you have to come back later and say what moisturizer you're using or what icing are you using, you know, type of thing. I would never sell the microdermabrasion cream without the serum. I would never. Right? It's like I would never sell a BB cream. So again, the key is you have favorites. Tell them what your favorites are. And, and um, oh no, I'm sorry. We passed the favorites thing. I'm so sorry. So when you have a product, it's like Amazon. You, you're, you're looking at this or you're ordering this. Other people thought you might like this. Be those other people thought you might like this. Go to that to that next step to say, I'm selling a lot of this. I'm seeing to have a lot of people there that are purchasing this. Would you like to add it to your order today? And again, especially if it's a special, but even if it isn't a special, it is something that you definitely want to um, to get you know to uh, to suggest to her. Um, and the, you know, and you guys know what I feel about Facebook Live. I think you should go Facebook Live every time you can. Listen, you have something that you've tried. You have something somebody else has tried. You hear something in the, in the community group that them, somebody just goes nuts over. Go live and say, "Oh my gosh." We have a community group here at Lemongrass Spa, and this product that I'm about to show you and demonstrate to you has just been hot. And then tell them why. Give those adjectives and tell them why. People buy from people. <clears throat> they join people. They book from people. You're the person that wants to come and tell a story and tell them why they would want to try something that everybody else is going gaga over, right? Um, okay, so we talk about cross-selling. Cross-selling is suggesting products that are associated with something they ordered. BB cream is the brush. Um, Add-on. Add-on is something that, um, oh my gosh, somebody buys the, the $21 healing elements, I would always say, now let's go ahead and take a look at the one that gets tucked in your purse. Or let's take a look at the one that goes on your nightstand. Because that big jar of healing elements, it travels around the house. I know because I always say to my husband, where is it? And he has it in his office. So what I do is I just buy the little jars, the, the travel size jars, and I put them around the house where when I'm there, you know, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in my nightstand, those are the kinds that you want to do add-ons when somebody's buying something. Think about something else, say add-on. The lipstick, oh my gosh, I think the lipstick has to, you sell the brush set. I know that's a big leap, but if you tell them all the things that those brushes do and then you explain why they, they buy the lip brush 
that comes in the brush set with their lipstick, their lipstick lasts so much longer and it's just a nicer application. It has a beautiful stained look that just is, I mean, it just looks so much fuller on their lips. But anyway, I digress. Um, oh, Jan, I have a cold and I thought I was getting over it, but I just am talking too much. I don't think it's really a cold anymore. I think it's just I'm talking too much, but that's okay. All right. So, but thank you for noticing. So cross-selling, add-on selling, upselling. Upselling, again, is if somebody said, I want that $10 healing element stick. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, so before I place that on your order form, I just have to tell you that ten. there are four of those $10 healing element stick in that, in that, um, in that family size. That's 21. So you can pay me now or pay me later. Buy the $10 now and... And have come back later and buy another ten dollar or get the twenty one dollar now and it lasts you for a year. And the other thing you might want to think about doing is going ahead and, and giving them some of their little sample jars and um, sending them a couple spatulas and let make them make little sample jars for their purse of their healing elements. Listen, when you do that act of service, when somebody has a clear blue sky, they open that gift up of the sample jars and spatula, and you write a little note and say. Here's how you're going to be able to, I know I talked to you out of that $10 jar or stick. Here's how you're going to be able to make samples and keep all around the house and your purse, et cetera. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be a lasting memory. It's going to be a memory that lasts forever. You're her go-to girl now. You're her go-to girl. So, again, make sure that you are um, explaining the benefits of going to the next the next level up. Um, and, again, the, the multiple selling, it's really just – at this time of year, who else on your list do you think might enjoy this also? Or, you know what, while we're talking, can I give you a suggestion on somebody else that's on your list? Tell me who you still have left over. Um, yeah, and Joy does sample, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Joy does sample jars for vendor events at Healing Bound. Good for you, Joy, yeah. However, and that's great. I would I would do a, one extra step and do a little surprise packet for someone that wants to do it. Um, all right, so, 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 so. Um, Oh, and bundles. Oh, my gosh. I know you guys love bundles. I know. It. I see them all over the place. Um, make sure you're in the Creative Facebook um, Black Brat, <laughs> Creative Black Friday Facebook group event because Sarah, um, just Sarah Anderson just put, oh, my gosh, the most beautiful bundles that you spend this much and you get this free. And she talked about what you purchase. People like to um, to have set solutions. And I'm going to go back to the catalog. Your set solutions are already in the catalog. However, you know, you've got your face system. You've got your minerals collection kit. You've got your essential oil gift ideas in the back. However, at this time of year, bundles are so important for people to say, oh, my gosh, that would be perfect for this person. And do certain price points of them like, like Sarah did there. Um, product with a purchase. I am a huge product with a purchase. Huge product with a purchase. That really should be all, all year long. All year long, you just offer, you know, because people like to think that they're getting something that you have recommended or you are recommending as the gift with purchase. I just think it's it's fabulous. Um, and again, if you do the bundles, I think it is important at times that you do give a cost savings, just like Heidi did, because then you can say, by the way, that's 20 that like when I do the ultimate, when I do a facial or the um, skincare class, I always say, Listen, let's go to page, and I think it's on page five or six in catalog, and I'm going to show you how you're going to get an entire solution for your face, and you're also going to save some money. And I'll tell you the two ways to save. And then I actually take them into the savings that they paid full price for it, how much it is per price. I don't say you're going to save $15. Well, I do say that. But then I say, and that means, ladies, you're paying this much per price, per order, or per product. It's important because a lot of times women have a lot of things going on in their brain, and they're not going to do the math. So do the math for them as much as possible. Yes, you save $15. That means it brings it down to $7 a product. Oh, my gosh. When was the last time you found a, a, a gluten-free, you know, oil, you know, plant-based um, skin care line for $7 a product? For $7 a product. I mean, you'd be crazy not to get this as a bundle. Now, I'm going to tell you another way that you're going to be able to save, and then you talk about hosting, and in a 50%, and then you go back and say, and that's $3.50 a product. You choose. But either way, this should go home with you. It should end up on your, on your vanity. So, again, 
you'd be crazy not to give them the price breakdown. So again, the sets, when Heidi does the sets like that, she gives such a great cost savings. It's like that mineral collection, you get that gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I mean, you've seen it. It's beautiful. And it's something that people will keep their entire collection of mineral foundations in, even in their drawer. Because I know it's spread all over the place without that little that little um trapper bag. Trapper bag. I mean, I always nickname everything. So anyway, that's something that I'm going to really encourage you guys to do is make sure you are looking at the value add of some of these products. Um, all right, let me see. Um, when somebody talks about, you know, not having their Christmas shopping done yet or their holiday shopping done, just, you know, again, tell them that you're a creative gift gift solution, you know, gift specialty. Creating gift specialty is is right down your line. You know, advertise yourself as somebody that can help them. It's a stress-free time for a lot of people, both financially and just trying to think beyond their brain. So make sure you guys are being there, you know, and offering that type of a service. Um, the other thing is at this time of year, a lot of a lot of um a lot of um companies, businesses do a little bit more of a relaxed schedule. They're a little bit less busy intentionally. That might be a perfect way, guys, for you to invite yourself in to a, to give them a hand spa experience on their lunch hour. Offer that as a service. It is a service. It is something. Again, it's not that you're expecting them to buy. You're now giving yourself the opportunity to meet some new people and them to hear about Lemongrass Spa and know about the products. You can give little samples to everybody as you leave. But honestly, there's when I used to work for a doctor, the drug companies at this time of year used to bring in lunches. They used to bring in you know um, catering and things like that because they knew that that was the way that um, would offset the time. You know that sometimes we're a little more relaxed at this time of year. You make yourself be that person that inserts yourself into that company or that that um, that um, yeah, that company where you're off able to do that. Listen, school teachers, they have off during the holidays, but the staff there at the church, at the schools don't. Churches the same way. Church they run they run their offices. Get yourself into those environments by offering to you know put your put your little. Your little um, elf hat on that all of you gonna are gonna earn, and um, have, get some cute little socks and and go and you know and tell them that that this is what you do at this time of year that you offer hand spa experiences, no charge, no purchase necessary of course, and you'd love to be able to come and treat them. Start to get the word out. Start to tell your friends this is what I'm offering. This is what I offer. This is what I'm offering. Who do you know? Real estate offices. Listen. They would just, they would love it. They would love it. It's always no unless unless you ask. It's always a no unless you ask. All right, so I think that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, and um, I just want to make sure you guys are all set. There will there'll be another, I have the first, I have the first Tuesday in December as a call. And so again, we'll talk about January parties because you're still in, in, De in that first Tuesday in December you're going to be building a January calendar because you can say next month I'm offering. And I've got some great ideas for January. You could do a white sale. You could do a five for five or five with five it's called. Um, I mean, there's just so many great things. You could do a ditch and switch where everybody brings a product and, um, and they do it intentionally to leave it with you and get a 10% discount on the product they're replacing with Lemongrass Spa. Um, after the holidays, people want to get back to a normal life where they're not having to have the obligation of being with their family. January was were some of my strongest months because people had cabin fever and they just wanted to, to be back with their girlfriends. Like I've had enough with my family, I've had enough obligations. Now I just need to go and back and catch up with my girlfriends and see how their holiday went. So it's going to be a really strong month for you guys. I can I can promise you. And then of course February is our in and out month, so we're going to have a strong month for that. But anyway, so I will I will be back. Of course, um, the first Tuesday in December, getting you ready for January. In the meantime, I will see you of course in Coffee with Kathy. And um, I hope this has been helpful, guys. Let me see if there's any questions. Okay. Um, Tammy says, what doesn't home office do bundles? Home office does bundles. Yes. Tammy, if you look in the catalog, you've got your face system that's a bundle. You've got your, um, 
You've got, well, there's, and even in the holiday gift guide, there's tons of bundles. There's like three different bundles in the holiday gift guide. In the catalog, the bundles that are there do have some cost savings. You know, with the mineral collection, you've got the adorable bag that is, I mean, honestly, it's like a $20 bag. I mean, it's really a nice bag that comes with the gift collection. So that's like a free gift with purchase. With the skincare, you've got the reduced price. And then, of course, with the essential oils, you've got such an amazing deal with the essential oils. And then in the back are the gift sets, and they are also some savings there too. So, again, do your bundles personally if you want. I think you guys do a fabulous job. However, for those of you that are new or if you're not creative like me, just use the Home Office catalog or use out catalog and all the graphics the Home Office Bethany has done for us, the photography Brian has done, and the words that Heidi has done. So, you know, use that as your, as your, as your, um, your talking points. Yeah. Jill said she'll be closing her biggest event ever tomorrow morning. Oh, my gosh, Jill. So, Jill, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you give your word. Say, listen, once you have your products, my commitment to all of my customers is to follow up with you and make my out-of-the-box calls. So I promise you, you will be no exception. Jane's friends will be no exception. I want you guys to make sure you practice that language, that it comes out every time somebody purchases from you, you have my commitment. And you follow through with it because, again, that's what keeps us different than other direct sales companies is you make that commitment. Number one, you verbalize it. Number two, you follow through with it. And it's so easy to do. In fact, it's fun to do because they're waiting for your call for sure. Yeah. <coughs> How would I describe the healing bomb to a customer? Joy? In the mock Facebook group, if you if you look under, I think if you look under healing bombs, I've actually described it. I've actually given a, you a commercial for it, and I use the commercial at all my parties. I use it at all the the spa escapes. I ask them to go into their medicine cabinet, open up their medicine cabinet, count the different products that you use for a variety of of what ails them, burns and and you know insect bites and stutures and acne and you know, bruises, and I said, and everything, you know, making your earrings, you know, when you have cheap earrings, making them not, you know, you know, make your ears ooze and stuff like that. I said, and everything, you can just take all those and put it in one jar, and that's our healing elements. So again, I just try to have them visualize what they're looking at in that medicine cabinet or on the shelf of the store, and they're spending money on, and they can't pronounce most of the, of the ingredients in there, which should make them run the other way. And I said, that's our healing elements bomb. So, yeah. Oh, the scent. I think it's a vanilla. I'm sorry, Joy. I got railroaded off there. I got rail sidetracked, railroaded. Um, I think it's a vanilla. I love it. It's, it's like a vanilla. It's like a creamy vanilla scent. It's not like vanilla that you're cooking with. It's a creamy vanilla scent. Yes. Yep. It's almost like a marshmallow. It's, it's like a marshmallowy vanilla. How about that? Marshmallowy, marshmallowy vanilla. Yes. I love it. Love the scent. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see if there's anybody else that needs questions. All right, guys. Listen, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be around tomorrow, but a little bit more sporadic. That's why I've been posting quite a bit today. Get you guys up to speed in your Black Friday. It starts tomorrow. Don't forget, at 11 o'clock Eastern time. and um, and if you need me, just tag me or tag me or message me. And, um, you know, have a great Wednesday. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And um, I'll, be, I'll be back in touch with you. All righty. Oh, thanks, Amanda. That's so sweet. Listen, I love you guys. And have a great, a great Wednesday. And we'll be chatting soon. All right. Bye-bye.